Hello, my soccer universe. Yes, I threatened to do the Western Europe review <laughs> towards the end of this week, but then I said, A, this would not be fair to the big match in Portugal, which I actually, uh, for most of the time, enjoyed watching. And also quite some stuff happened in France, and there's a little bit happening in Spain as well that we want to talk about. I mean, the two big headlines come from France and from Spain. The one in France is that all three on top stumble but only Lyon falls and so we have so PSG basically stumbles into taking the lead in the league again very interesting uh, all three games could have gone either way in many ways so uh, that's something we'll talk about for sure when we talk about league uh, and in Portugal similar thing none of the top three win I mean there were the um, how do I say it was a really uh, hard fought classico between uh, Porto and Benfica with an enjoyable first and an also enjoyable second half and yes yeah, Sporting only manages a 1-1 at home and so um, cannot separate from them as well but I actually want to start this video uh, despite not much happening in Spain and yes I'm not going to talk about the Super Cup although we have to talk a little bit about it because Messi uh, in a losing effort to Athletic Bilbao and it, I'm so happy that there was no classical final so uh, they fully got the, what, 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 what they deserved for this crazy format but Messi got a red card and is probably not gonna play uh, in the league so we'll have to see where this is going but I'm gonna start in the Copa del Rey because we had around three and with some few interesting results and we will have a few more happening um, uh, with all the four teams in, in, in the Super Cup, they will play this week as well. So if you were starved for Real Madrid and Barcelona for a proper com competition, you will get it. Real Madrid plays Alcoyano on Wednesday at 9 and Barcelona at Cornea, which I find interesting because that's the town where Espanyol, who actually got eliminated from the Cup, but I ha don't have it here, uh, is having the home stadium, so they're playing in the Espanyol st Stadium despite not playing against Espanyol, Cornea, basically a suburb of Barcelona as well. Uh, I think the most interesting result for me is Almeria storming over Alaves 5-0. Um, so uh, let's see what is being played in La Liga. We have the round 19 is finished, uh, running from Tuesday through Thursday. Uh, not a huge match of India, Sevilla plays at Alaves, which could be a stumbling block. Uh, Betis against Celta, I think that's a game that screams a little bit. Uh, goals via Real Granada could be interesting, and Eibar Atletico should be an easy win as well. And then we have a weekend uh, full round where, uh, let's see, where are the big boys? Um, Real Madrid also plays at Al Alaves, uh, Real Sociedad Betis sounds like goals Elche Barcelona yeah and then big name is of course Atletico Madrid Valencia let's go to Liga uh, probably the best game of the weekend was the first one where yes it was in the first half it was all Monaco Mon Monaco being a little bit a team of the moment uh, with the first chance Fallon gives them 1-0 uh, then Ben Yedda scores makes it 2-0 after the half uh, it's 3-0 again uh, Ben Yedda I think Fallon was fouled in the end in the box and you think uh, easy cruising for Monaco but then uh, within 5 minutes 64 6 69 Vahi and Dalot with a nice spec heel kick uh, make it 2-3 for uh, Montpellier and then it was a very open game where both teams had chances to score but it remains the 3-2 for Monaco. Uh, Marseille, they are really not in great shape. They also lost the Super Cup final to PSG and then complained that they were the better, better team. I didn't see it but from what I hear they weren't but um, yeah the hate between those two is going deep. Tova misses a penalty third 35th and then right after the ham Eliasson twice 55th and 58th scoring for Nîmes for a famous Vic victory because Benedetto can only pull one back late and that's a, a big win for Nîmes. Uh, Rennes wins a Breton Tabi at, um, at Brest 2-1 but um, I'm getting ahead of myself. PSG against Angers, I actually watched that game and uh, nasty weather uh, and this was a game that PSG had under control but was never convincing. Uh, there was so many, they had a few ch chances but Mbappé was a rather um how, how to say it, a pale 
performance uh, by uh, Mbappe. Um, also, Neymar not quite in the game yet. I mean, they 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 play, played a good uh, lineup, but uh, it was not clicking in the well. And uh, you could see after third thirty minutes, Orges thought, "Yeah, we can get something out of there," and they did have a few chances. In the end, Kuzova gets the winning goal for PSG, where he just the ball falls in front of him and just uh, takes it um, with the front of his leg, uh, foot, and uh, slams it in, in into the net. Overall, yes, it was deserved, but it was not an easy win. And Angers probably could have gotten an e equalizer. And the uh, game was sometimes some so, um, I don't I don't, I don't mean it's at all, but non-exciting, that they told us all the stories about Angers, how exciting a team it is because of all the criminal array records the players have. Go figure. Um, and then uh, it was pressure on Lille and Lyon, and Lille already found themselves down against the Reims. Uh, at the halftime, uh, Zenili getting the goal at 36, but Bamba uh, gets right after the half the equalizer, and then in stoppage time, David gets the winner, and so Lille keeps pay, uh, pace and that was an important win for them because they had a string of rather non so nice results and it also reminds me yes i need to get lil up there because there's way too much white for french teams and so it was all leon to defend their um, top place again but no i mean against Mets especially i mean i saw some of the second half they they were pressing four forward they really tried to get uh, the, uh, that we had a uh, goal by Toko Akambi uh, disallowed, but then uh, I think they overstretched themselves and in the 90th uh, Lea scores the winner for Metz and that means now of course that uh, Lyon loses top spot, PSG and Lille moving up. Uh, Monaco remain in fourth, but uh, they are only outside chance. If you look here, it means all now served for PSG, uh, who also are also on to go into the Champions League. Lots of movement in, in the midfield and on the bottom. Nim actually getting out of the relegation spot, and now Lorient is the new last place team. Still, Nim is the also favorite to be rele relegated. Um, we have Marseille having two games in hand, which you might think this might help them, but no, they have been such a rotten form that even with two games in hand they cannot really move up they would not even go past the Rennes uh, although they're outperforming themselves but at the moment Marseille uh, they had a good start but you know, look at how uh, big the red bar at PSG is they're having an off season definitely um, and yeah I think that's all that we need to say here at the broad mid mid midfield to see how where things will be going. We see already here the expected stand standings. It is basically a top three uh, PSG, Olympique, Lyonnais and Lille at the moment. And Monaco also go going in there and Rennes. I mean, the, the top six pretty much set on just the first team that's kind of cut, cut, cut off. So these are the ones for the European spots um, with the top three going for the Champions League league spots. Uh, Monaco is probably in the in-between and the rest goes uh, towards the bottom. And then Nantes, I think, is not out of rele relegation trouble yet, but it's really among the bottom three teams uh, when we talk about relegation. I said Marseille has to make up some games. Yes, loss is what they will play on Wednesday uh, to make up uh, at least one game of those and maybe get, get a win and maybe put themselves a little bit in better position. Um, there is actually, uh, they will play loss very soon again. Uh, I saw some um, in, in a month from now. Uh, and then the uh, weekend round starts out with PSG uh, Montpellier, which is an interesting game. I also think Monaco against Marseille is definitely one worth your attention. Rennes, Lille, another top duel, and Saint Etienne, Lyon is kind of a local derby. So I think all um, top teams have nice matchups this weekend, which is very exciting in France. Uh, very exciting, of course, was in Portugal the uh, Clásico between Porto and Benfica. Um, Sporting already had only played a 1-1, despite having a 1-0 half, half, half time lead. So a win for either one of them would get them in touching distance of Sporting, uh, which they anyway favored to do so. And it was a really, really nice, for, uh, good for, for herself with, with the first goal uh, for coming for Benfica in the 17th. 
uh, Grimaldo's corner was all about the Seferovic assist where he just uh, with more or less his ankle one times the pass into Grimaldo he can nicely pull pull it away then uh, an, another nice attack taking move uh, by Porto uh, has, has Taremi taken a shot that is deflected by Marega just the slightest deflection to go in and it's 1-1. One, one. Then um, uh, Benfica once hits the post and the game is rather open with Porto actually, actually gaining a little bit more control but you could also see already it's getting really really nasty. It was a, it was a nasty cl cl classic, especially in sex and have a lot of uh, rough tackles and uh, overextensions and everything in there. Did then Taremi got sent off for, yes, a really rough challenge, but I think this was the one where there was not really a malintent uh, behind it, but yeah, so it happens. I'm doing this video late because I was waiting for the last result to give you a full picture. Uh, another result that we have to point out is of course Passos beating Braga, so we mean that none of the top four teams actually won in Portugal, which is remarkable. What's also remarkable, so on top not really much changed uh, except that now Porto and Benfica are um, ahead of Sporting in the chances we will see also that in the expected standings in, in a bit, but just look at uh, on, on the bottom how much movement is there, this is it's so, so tight and uh, I think it was uh, Famalicao winning, Tontela winning, Portimonense winning, teams that uh, were towards the bottom and now we have Boavista, uh, probably my, you know, cult favorite in, Por in Por Portugal uh, on, on the bottom, which is something I really don't like to see. Um, the also favorite to getting uh, relegated is the Promolesa Nacional and of course Belenenses, although I think now Nacional could probably stay in there. Uh, the rating is, I think, worse than the team. Uh, adjusting, we have Vitor Guimaraes had already postponed game again. They will make up one uh, soon, as we'll see. Uh, but even with adjusting, they will not go past Passos and Braga. So also a telltale sign. So there's not much movement in the adjusting standings. And we just see the Sporting is the surprise of the season uh, when we look at the difference. And then when we go to the expected uh, standings, we see now Porto, Benfica and Sporting, it's rather tight, only two points expected between them and also there's lots of all overlap, so it could go either way, but at the moment Porto is favored over Benfica and then Sporting, Braga, rather safe fourth place and then between passes and Guimaraes for fifth and sixth and the rest, you almost want to say it plays against re relegation, but I think it really starts with Gil Vicente in 13th spot, uh, there you see already the green lapping over in the relegation zone. Uh, I already said Vittorio uh, Guimaraes uh, is going to make up a game against Nacional on Thursday and then we have a weird Sunday-Monday round uh, as well where um, yeah, Passos plays a Maritimo, uh, Benfica against Nacional should, should be an easy win, Farense against Porto similar but I don't know about Farense because I think it, uh, Farense was the team that uh, had the game against Guimaraes postponed so no not sure if that's going to happen and Sporting plays at Boa Vista um, it's a derby between it. It's another Porto Lisbon derby between the second biggest teams in in, in the city, but um, should go all Sporting's way here. So that was it from Western Europe. Um, Film in if you want to add anything. Give me a thumbs up. If you enjoyed this video. I, I actually enjoyed it with a little bit less Spain and a lot more of the other leagues. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel to see more, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists uh, that you might give interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my uh, channel to give you all the updates, all the things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, have a great day.